Kyle Lauren, and this film is called Spotless. So the film is about a janitor who is obsessive, compulsive to a degree about cleaning his workplace. He is counting every single action, every single brush stroke, every single mop stroke as he cleans and uh, organizes the place that he works at. I came up with the idea once I had thought about sort of what things were easily available to me, uh, what people I had available, what spaces I had available. And I ended up using primarily my roommates, my one roommate, Byron, who's the lead actor. He happens to work in the building that we shot in and is actually somewhat of a janitor in the space. Halfway through the film, there's a bit of a crisis where a fly enters his building and he is sort of left with having to chase it down and destroy it before it causes any mess or damage to uh, the building that he just spent all day cleaning. Malcolm Sanger was in charge of the VFX animating the fly and he ended up doing a phenomenal job and he did it within like two days, it was crazy. In charge of Foley and sound design was Matt Thibodeau. Mike Poisson did location sound on the day we shot and he also scored the music at the end of the film. So I knew that audio was going to be a huge part of the film because the first half of it pretty much relies on sound effects. So going into shooting, I told Michael to be as creative as he could be with mic placement and just getting the best takes of sounds naturally in the environment as he could. So one of the one of the products that came in really, really handy was the Rode Wireless Go system. He was able to tape the transmitter, you know, under the mop bucket. Uh, I think he taped it to Byron's shoes at some point. Having that sort of close mic option was really, really handy when it came to editing the uh, sound effects. Having never shot or, you know, written uh, something narrative like this, Jason Ciparoni was in charge of, of also directing and sort of helping me stay organized and, and on task. Like, I feel like I watched this film like 100,000 times in my head, you know, at night before bed. And I was able to sort of put that idea, put those images in my head into, into the video. And it came out exactly as I imagined it. And I think that was something that I've never done. And it uncovered a, a lot of new experiences and challenges, not only for myself, but for everybody that was involved. You know, it was really great to see everybody's talents and, you know, hard work shine through. And regardless of what happens with this competition or whatever, we put our heads down, we did something, we, we got creative, and now we have a video that we can use as a building block to, you know, the next short film we make.